what's going on everybody rob here aka trav 2323 uh quick tip here on undersill f channel j channel okay i'm working on i gotta put the top right here and you want to know what comes out the soffit what holds the soffit in and what holds the vinyl siding up okay here we go this right here is called the f channel because it's like an f okay you nail this in so when you put your vinyl siding in you clip it in here and then on the other side you screw to the top this is called under sill so we got uh this color vinyl siding so you see it's really more narrow so you push the other piece up in here and it holds it better now this is j channel this normally goes around doors or windows because it's stapled with a j but some windows you buy already has the channel on there okay but here's the trick at the top underneath this channel right here there still is a lot of room see how the room is that so you would take a white undersill a white undersill and you would nail it underneath here just the white one so when you put your panel in it'll go into that white channel right there that's the difference between i mean at the end of the vinyl siding piece is right there so right now i'm putting these two together because i'm putting the f channel at the top across the top to get my white soffit but i'm putting the j channel okay that under sill right there when you get the you know how you got to clip the bottom of the vinyl siding and then you, it goes up and you nail then you clip the vinyl side and it goes up and you nail well that top piece your measurement it's not going to be perfect and you need something to stop the top of the vinyl siding so that under sill is really thin because you got to measure and score that last piece so when you clip it up it's even where it clips up and on the top of it is pressed secure against that vinyl siding up top and that's how the undersill works now it's hard getting that perfect cut across i will tell you this three quarters of mine is perfect when i got the undersill uh, uh, uh pushed up across the top but on a very windy day one of them popped down a little bit so what i did was i took clear caulk and i snapped it up in place and I put little beads of clear caulk and a little stream of clear caulk on the top of that one and it never budged again. You could do this as a DIYer. And I mean, uh, 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 the gray is gonna be underneath the F channel because this is gonna be the top portion of my vinyl siding. That explains F channel, J channel, and undersill. What's going on everybody? Rob here, AKA Trev 2323. Quick tip, how not to waste vinyl siding. You see I'm doing the side of the house right here. There's three pieces cut from, that's actually one 12 foot length. This is the kind of front facade. So you kind of want the longer pieces for the front facade. And when you get the side facades here, this is 12 foot. So I could actually, they're 12 foot sections. So I could actually just cut seven foot, seven foot and not have any breaks in between. Not have any breaks in between but when you cut the breaks in between and you use the extra little pieces like this you use the whole 12 foot to work your way up the side of the house the whole 12 foot is being used up the side of the house instead of just cutting seven foots and having all these other little sections left so this is how not to waste vinyl siding this is special order vinyl siding so where the side facades are or whatever you kind of stagger it this way and you use the bigger longer pieces for the face facade subscribe like and share youtube trev 2323 trev 2323 please share